Today, we're going to be taking a look at the union and union all statements within SQL. I'm going to show you guys an example and also give you a practice problem so that way you master the concepts. I'm going to jump on my computer and let's start coding. So the table that we're going to use for the first part is called Nolan Ryan Career Stats. And this is data that I pulled from baseball reference from the baseball player Nolan Ryan. And uh, you can see over here, all the way left, you have the specific year. And then you have stats over here, like strikeouts, you have walks, which is labeled as BB, ERA, wins, team, league. And there's so much more over here, but unless you're a baseball nerd like myself, you probably don't really care that much. So uh, taking a look at it first, what specifically is a union? Well, union will combine two SQL queries together and output the results together. So uh, let's grab, for example, over here, we're just going to do a select star and we're going to do where wins, which in this table over here is W is greater than 10. So we have this specific query. And if we do that, you can see that we have 17 results, 17 rows. It has all this data over here, starting with 1972, going through 1991. And that could be a query that we want the results for. Well, Let's say we want to have where strikeouts in a specific season over 200. So strikeouts in this table is SO, and we're just going to change 10 to 200. If we run this over here, you can see that there is 14 results. Well, a union will combine the results of this here and this here and output the distinct results. So if I put this over here, union, right, and we select this, now you can see that there are 20 rows. This one on its own had 17. This one on its own had 14. But when we combine them, it shows 20. Now the difference on this in a union all, union all will show everything. So it'll take the results from this part, which was 17. It'll also have this at the very bottom, which is 14. So we're going to have 31 in total. So watch. Instead of union, you just put union all and you grab this and take a look, 31 rows. In fact, some of the data is going to be duplicated. So you can see like 1972 is a perfect example. In 1972, Nolan Ryan had 19 wins, which is over here. And then if you go to strikeouts, had 329. Well, it fits the criteria for here. We're looking at wins over 10 and fits the criteria over here with strikeouts over 200. And that is why it's in row number one. And if you go down to the bottom, row number 18. So for part two, we're taking a look at a table of consecutive numbers. We have ID over here, and then we have a num in the second column. So let's say for the first example, we're gonna write two select statements. We have this one where ID is greater than five. And if we run this output on this side of things, you can see IDs six, seven, eight, and also nine show up. And let's do one, for example, where num is greater than 15. Uh, so that way we have a replication of six, seven, and eight. And if you guys see that, num is greater than 15. And you can see three, four, six, seven, eight. So three and four are not replicated this time because they're under the ID of five, but everything else shows up again. So if I'm gonna union these, we're gonna get an output of three, four, six, seven, eight, and then any other IDs that are greater, which you can see number nine. So our result will be three, four, six, seven, eight, and nine. And if we union all, we're gonna have six, seven, eight is duplicated. So check this out. So we have union over here, three, four, six, seven, eight, and also nine, because it fills the arguments of ID is greater than five or number is greater than 15 and all this is outputted over here when we union all it's going to show everything in general and we have replication of six seven eight because those are here at the top and six seven eight at the bottom and also i wanted to show you guys too if you're going to do an order by with unions you need to put this at the very bottom so for example if we order by id we don't put it here twice we don't put an order by id up below this where statement, it's at the very bottom of this union. So if you see in this example, ID is now in order. We have six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, and then also nine. But if you end up putting it over here, you are gonna get an error. Let's run this over here. You can see actually even before running it, 
the red shows up underneath union. So make sure that you guys put your order by statements at the very bottom. That way it kind of stands out a little bit better and you can see what's specifically replicated in that output. Hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe as it does help out the YouTube channel. By the way, I have a full series of SQL data interviews over here. You should go check them out and start solving some problems.